Hey folks, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick video showcasing how you can use easel from Inventables to create a nice crisp border around your sign. Very simple process, had a lot of fun interacting with the Inventables uh, community over at their website. So check it out. Hi there. So today what I want to do is I wanted to kind of uh, make a quick and simple video to showcase uh, a way around a little bit of a what I what I would think of as a, a bit of a limitation when using easel uh, for carving your CNC signs. And I wanted to show a quick method on how to get around doing uh, two bits on the same sign uh, with respect to creating a, a nice clean round border when you're cutting it. And I'll show you what I mean in a, in a minute. So what I what I have here is this is a blank uh, blank page here on easel and what I'm going to do is I've already done this and I have a sign being made right now but I want to show you a little bit about how I got around the limitation. So before I get into it I wanted to let everyone know again that easel is the software that we use. It's over at inventables.com we uh, we pay twenty dollars a month Canadian for it, and it's been very very good for us uh, at the level that we're at right now. Again, we're looking <clears throat> probably maybe to upgrade into something different, but right now we don't really need to. It, it works very well for us, and the forums and the customer support have been fantastic, ten out of ten in my opinion. So don't be afraid to use this program, and don't be afraid to pay for it because there's a lot of amazing things in here that. Uh, that I'm discovering almost on a daily basis and if I don't know how to do something I get answers to say almost immediately would be an understatement so here we are we have a, a, a sign template that I'm going to do and it's going to be a round sign and I'm going to import a oh sorry about that I'm going to import a uh, SVG file that I'm using and the theme is going to be space and it's a, a, a quick file that I have here uh, works very very well and again, this isn't going to be a, a how-to video, so to speak. It's just kind of a quick thing I wanted to post to show uh, how you can get away with this. So this one's being done with a 60-degree V-bit. Um, comes out looking very, very good. Uh, I'm going to add the name uh, of the uh, recipient in the middle. Uh, I'll just leave that for text for now so you can understand it, but you can change that and do whatever you want. So here we are with the sign, and it's all going to be cut, and it's going to look, come out looking... Uh, very very nice and however I, I need to add a border I'm not just gonna give them a square one I want to give them a circular sign so what uh, what I've learned is uh, to import a sign or to, to import a circle part of me and I'm gonna make this circle uh, 11 by 11 I'll say because my total size of my piece is 12 by 12 just center that here uh, stretch it just a wee bit here. Uh, I'm going to move this a bit. Again, I, I've already done all this. This is just uh, to show you kind of how I did it. Um, but in a nutshell, here's your sign. Looks fantastic. Looks clean. 60 degree V bit, v -bit will make it look uh, very sharp. And However, as you can see, it's got this angled uh, border and uh, that's not what I want I want a nice square border here um, and the uh, I'll give you an idea I'll, I'll make it um, so so this is how you would have it and it looks like I would cut right through and it would make this I mean it, that, I mean it wouldn't look super bad I guess um, and in some circumstances we've actually used this type of uh, border um, and it comes out looking very good, but it, it actually doesn't come out with that shape consistently all the way through. It actually is a, it comes out like, almost like a, um, like a pointed triangle type thing. It, it really, really, really kind of stumped me why I couldn't just do this and then change bits and, and then just get it to do that. And the software doesn't let you, let you do that. So I was kind of going, what do you do? Well, well, uh, users and, uh, of, of the program said, well, why don't you just make two of them? And I'm like, what do you mean make two of them? And they go, exactly that, make two of them. 
So I said, okay, so here's what they mean by that. So they, uh, so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna make a copy of this one and you take your side, this is the one we have, and I'm just gonna delete that. You don't need that anymore. So with the 60 degree V bit, it's gonna cut this side and then you'll reset at zero, zero and then you will cut the circle on another project. And you're going to use the bit of your choice. In this case, I'll just use a quarter inch bit. And it will, so I'll reset and then I will cut. And then the machine will just come and just cut a circle over and over and over again. Uh, and that easy, you, you have a, a bit of more of a complex cut, but not very hard to do at all. The trick though is you can't move anything. So if, if you decide to go back and make changes, then you have to delete the other one and then make all your changes in one, make a copy so that that circle doesn't move or, or throws everything out of whack. Again, learn from my mistakes because I learned that the hard way as well. Anyway, any questions, uh, you know, let me know and uh, I'd love to help anybody that I can.